Well, people from all over South Dakota and surrounding states gather in Flandreau this weekend to take part in an old-time farming activity. KDLT's Miranda Page introduces a young competitor that came all the way to Illinois just to compete in this weekend's contest. Before farm machinery, farmers had to pick corn by hand. Every year, people relive that history by seeing how many corn husks they can pick in a race against the clock. It used to be quite a big deal across the country, but it's kind of dying out, but we want to try to keep that tradition alive. For around 12 years, Flanders hosted the state hand corn picking contest. This year, they also hosted the national championship. Many people participate to remember their past, but younger generations get in on the action as well. For 16-year-old Shayla Campbell, corn husking has helped her understand what farmers had to go through. Just how the past and the future, how it's changed, it's made a big difference in everyone's lives. Looking at what it was like in the 1800s, using horses, and now we're like using tractors today and GPS. It's also become one of her passions. Makes you get out into your community, agriculture. I come from an ag-based family, so it's a lot of fun. She traveled all the way from Illinois to compete in the national competition. It's something that she's done for five years. She's taken home many titles, and she loves how competitive it is. It feels pretty good just knowing how much you get and when you find out your weight, how much you've picked. With her whole family cheering her on, Shayla now has one more championship under her belt. She won the National Corn Husking Championship for ages 15 to 20, which isn't an easy feat. Once you start getting to do it, like your arms start hurting, your wrists are getting really tight, and then you just gotta push all the way through it. So just as the mechanical age has changed the game, corn husking has also evolved now into a sport and something to do all for the fun of it. Miranda Page, KDLT News. And the first state competition was held in Del Rapids in 1938. It brought in over a thousand people.